finally, please come to features of the Huawei Enterprise Network Suites, including the subcars and power models. Huawei's Enterprise case-shaped switches have LI, SI, EI, and HI models that have different features. Use the A5700 as an example. The A5700 LI switch supports complete layer 2 functions and simple management, while the A5700 SI supports layer 2 functions and basic layer 3 functions. The A5700EI supports complete routing protocols and rich service features. In addition to the functions of EI, the A5700HI supports some advanced functions such as MPLAs and hardware-based OAM. Huawei Enterprise Case-Shift PWR Series switches support improved PoE solutions. Users can determine whether a PoE interface provides power and the time when a PoE interface provides power. As PSEs, the PWR series switches comply with IEEE 802.3AF and 802.3AT, that is PoE Plus, and it can work in Power 7 mode. A single interface supporting IEEE 802.3AT can support a maximum of 30 watts power for terminals that require high power. The PWR series switches support intelligent power management and allow the priority configuration for interfaces. When the total power consumption of OPDs exceeds the total power supported by the PSE, the PSE supplies power for the PD with a higher interface priority. If the interfaces have the same priority, the PSE supplies powers first for the interface with a smaller interface number. A PoE power model provides 12 watts and minus 53 watts power outputs. The 12 watts output is used to supply power for the local device. The minus 53 watts output is used to supply PoE power for the remote PD. Huawei switches support 250 watts and 500 watts PoE power models. The 250 watts PoE power models supply 120 watts power for the switch and 130 watts power for the remote PD. The 500 watts PoE power models supply 120 watts power for the switch and 380 watts power for the remote PD. Some Huawei Enterprise case shape switches support the stacking function, including interface stacking and card stacking. The interface stacking requires manual configuration. The card stacking supports intelligent stacking. Multiple switches start to construct a virtual chassis shaped structure immediately after stacking cables are connected. Stack members are classified into master, slave, and standby switches. The standby switch reduces the duration of service interruption when the master switch fails. All the member switches belong to the same series. The AI series and SI series cannot form a stack. The following series switches do not support the stacking function. A1700 series, A3700HI, H5700HI, H5700SLI, H5760PAC, and A2700 series, excluding the A2752. Different three series switches differ on the stacking mechanism. Stacking cables, stack interfaces, the maximum number of member switches, bidirectional stack bandwidth, and topology. 
For example, the ACE 2752 and ACE 3700 multiplex the stacking SFP cables that are dedicatedly connected to upstream GE interfaces. The ACE 5700 uses stacking cards or multiplexes stacking SFP plus cables or PCIe cables. Huawei Enterprise K-shaped TP series switches provide multiplexing combo interfaces as upstream interfaces. And you can use either the optical or electrical interface at one time. The combo interface can be an uh, op optical interface and electrical interface on the panel and has one forward interface inside the device. When one interface is activated, the other interface is automatically disabled. By default, a combo interface works in the auto mode. In the auto mode, if the electrical interface is connected to a network cable first, the combo interface works as an electrical interface to transmit data. If the optical interface is connected to a fiber first, the combo interface works as an optical interface to transmit data. Loopback detection is used to detect loops on the interlace. After the loopback detection function is enabled on the switch, the switch periodically detects loops on each interlace interface. The interface enables with loopback detection sends a loopback detection packet every 5 minutes by default. If the loopback detection packet is sent back to the interface, it indicates a loop back on the interface. That is, a loop occurs on the network connected to the interface. The interface then switches to the loop back detection state. The interface automatically restores previous status of three detection intervals. After switches are installed, Software commissioning engineers must perform software commissioning on on-site devices. This affects the efficiency for deploying devices as well as increases costs. To implement automatic configuration, Huawei Enterprise case-shaped devices provide the auto-config function. When a new switch or switch without the configuration file is powered on, the switch automatically runs the auto-config process and obtains the version file and the configuration file. The switch can be managed remotely. The deployment efficiency is increased, whereas costs are decreased. Please note that before using the auto-config function, deploy the DHCP server that supports option 150 or option 14x. The IP address of an FTP server must be the same as the value of option 143 configured on the DHCP server. The IP address of a TFTP server must be the same as the value of option 150 configured on the DHCP server. The auto configure operations fall into three phases. First, IP address request. The device obtains an IP address from the DHCP server and obtains the user configuration. Second, version upgrade. This phase is optional. Users can choose to upgrade the switch software during deployment. Third, configuration file download and activation. The switch automatically obtains the configuration file from the specified TFTP or FTP server. If the user has specified the activation delay, the configuration file will take effect after the delay. If the user has not specified the activation delay, the configuration file will take effect after the default delay. A large number of packets including valid packets and malicious attack packets on the network 
must be processed by a device's CPU. If access packets are sent to the CPU, the CPU usage becomes high and the CPU performance deteriorates. In this case, services cannot be processed in a timely manner. If attack packets are sent to the CPU, the CPU is busy processing these attack packets for a long period. The attack packets affect services and many and may even cause a system breakdown. Huawei Enterprise Cache Shift Switches provide the local attack defense function that protects the CPUs by limiting the rate of packets sent to CPU, for example, filtering and classifying packets sent to the CPU, limiting the number of such packets and the rate, setting the priority of such packets and discarding packets that do not match certain rules. Local attack defense is implemented based on the blacklist and CAR. Please note the CAR refers to committed access rate. It is used for setting the rate of classified packets sent to the CPU. The CAR involves the CIR, CPAs and EPAs. Traffic is mirrored and monitored based on the preset matching rules. You can define the blacklist using the ACL. The CAR is used to set the rate of classified packets sent to the CPU. CPU attack defense provides hierarchical device protection. Protocol-based rate limit, queue-based rate limit, rate limit for all the packets. If all the preceding rate limits are set, the smallest rate limit takes effect. Huawei Enterprise case safe switches provide security features such as uh, the command line based hierarchical protection, remote SSH logging, SAMP authentication, and encryption, CPU internal protection, and AAA. Huawei released video web based AMAs for simplifying maintenance and use on Huawei Enterprise case shift switches. The switch has a built in web server. You can access the switch using a web browser on the terminal connected to the switch. The A1700 web based management switches require no configuration and it can be directly used. You can log into other series switches and use the web-based NMAs only after uploading the web file to the switch and loading the file. The steps are as follows. First, upload the web file. Access and download desired version software package. The software package contains the web file. The file name is in the format of Product name version number dot web dot zip. Upload the web file to the switch in FTP or TFTP mode. Second, note the web file. Third, create a web account. Finally, log into the web based AMAs. Open the web browser on the PC, enter the management IP address of the switch and press enter to display the login dialog box. If you want to use a interface on the switch for another service, you must delete the existing configurations one by one. If multiple configurations exist on this interface, you have to spend a lot of time deleting configurations. To reduce the maintenance workload and operation complexity, you can run the clear configuration port command to delete all configurations on the interface. After this command is executed, all configurations on the interface are deleted and the interface is shut down. Huawei's next generation enterprise case shift switches have indicator areas on the left pane. This area provides 
a comprehensive indicators and a mode switching button. You can use this button to check indicator status in different modes. For example, on the H5710 28CEI by default, the STAT indicator is green and the HPED and STCK indicators are off. When you press the switch button once, the HPED indicator turns green and the service interface indicators show the speed status of interfaces. When you press the button for a second time, the STCK indicator turns green and the service interface indicators show the stack status. When you press the button for a third time, the STAT indicator turns green. If you do not press the mode switching button within 45 seconds, the mode indicator automatically restores to off. You can obtain the part number of a switch by checking the label on the switch. You can also run the display a label command to chase the electronic label of the switch. Huawei Enterprise k switches support the upgrade using USB flash drives and you can manage the device configuration through the mini USB interface. That's all the information sharing we have today. If you want to learn more about the Huawei Enterprise case-shaped switches, please go visit our website enterprise.huawei.com. Thank you for watching.